hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today and our first topic of the video Babes Otumo's latest picture leaves fans concerned. So social media is abuzz following Babes Otumo's latest picture that is currently making the rounds on Twitter. Now Babes Otumo is photographed with DJ Sox and Lajam Shumnesi and fans are more concerned for Babes Otumo's well-being than ever as it seems by the comments in that particular picture. Now I want to start off by saying, I mean do correct me if I'm wrong also, that this is an old picture. I remember around 2019 we did a video about this very same picture talking about people concerned about babes or Duma. and at the end of the day some of you i do recall at the time and even now i'm assuming that some of you guys do remember babes or Duma being all that you know a lot bigger supple there was more babes or Duma than there is currently right now in the pictures that are going around same with uh Umam Pinja. there was also that time where he went viral dancing looking all as well a lot smaller not even all a lot smaller it looked like half of Umam Pinja was dancing over there and of course fans and i suppose trolls as well jumped in were concerned some were genuine some were just obviously trying to get them retweets and them likes but we cannot deny that the couple has indeed lost some weight. They are smaller than when they began, I suppose, their dating stuff when we knew about it in public and they were taking pictures. It's not a bad thing at the end of the day. Perhaps they just, you know, doing some lifestyle changes. Now, I believe at the time, Mampinja came out and said that he was working on his health, you know, eating better and all of that. Babes Otumo recently also trended for her weight and she came out and said, you know what, ever since she gave birth, you know, it's been hard for her to gain back some weight. But getting back to the topic at hand, like I said, Twitter users have taken to Twitter to share their concerns following Babes Otumo's picture. So it all starts when a user posted the picture and captioned it, Babes Otumo is not looking good with some heartbroken emojis. Now this picture was posted yesterday. Now one user actually came through to defend Babes Otumo. That user wrote, thank God I'm not in the public eye because what's happening to Babes Otumo happened exactly to me. I lost so much weight after giving birth, but I bounced back. Imagine facing all that scrutiny with a heartbroken emoji. Like I said before, you know, Babes Otumo did come out and say that since she gave birth, it's been difficult for her to gain some weight. But of course, you know, Twitter being Twitter, Babes Otumo's husband and baby daddy, Mampinja, has somewhat caught smoke for this particular, I suppose, concerns that people have for Babes Otumo. It definitely does seem that some fans have not forgotten or forgiven Mampinja over some of his past doings towards Babes Otumo. And needless to say that Babes and Mampincha's relationship has been under scrutiny ever since the day of the abuse allegations that were leveled against Mampincha. It seems like there are some fans that believe Mampincha is the major reason behind Babes Otumo's career demise as well as her recent weight loss. One user wrote, the carpet was laid for Babes Otumo. She was gonna become one of the greatest female artists out of South Africa, make loads of money and back international collabs. But Mampincha knew if she got bigger, he was gonna lose her. He sabotaged everything. I mean, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about that comment. Very interesting uh, allegations leveled against Mampincha over there and uh, a prediction that supposedly never came true of Babes Otumo being this entire international superstar that was sabotaged by Mampinja, allegedly anyways. But moving swiftly along, another user wrote, such a beautiful girl destroyed by those around her. Babes Otumo is a gift. Her talent should not be wasted. Look, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna put up my hand and say I definitely loved Iwololo. I've loved a lot of Babes Otumo songs since then as well. But uh, yeah, it's uh, lately, ish, yeah, good go rough. Another user wrote, Yapela Ingane Sbuga, roughly translated is, uh, Babes Otumo is finishing right before our eyes. Now, another user actually came through and replied to this user and wrote, Can we please leave Babes Otumo alone, Kosiami? This is tiring now. You guys are always talking about her weight loss and honestly, it's not okay. Babe doesn't even have social media anymore. She's literally not bugging anyone. She's just at home minding her business and occasionally swearing at her mother-in-law. <clears throat> But yeah, I mean, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about this picture that seems to have resurfaced of Babes Otumo, DJ Sox, and Lala Mshungnesi. And are you also one of those people who are on Twitter concerned about Babes Otumo's weight loss? 
Now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, SAPC allegedly threatens to pull the plug on Zahara's reality show. So according to the latest reports, diva tendencies in the entertainment industry are not something that raises eyebrows when revealed as we hear several reports of celebs accused of being unprofessional. Now award-winning Afro soul singer Zahara is the latest celebrity to be accused of being a diva. Now according to the reports, the singer who is working on a reality show that will premiere on SAPC soon has been given an ultimatum by the public broadcaster. Now according to the out it, the channel may pull the plug on her reality show if she doesn't stop acting like a diva. Now, according to the publication Sources Snitches, production was put on hold recently as Zahara and the production team were apparently not seeing eye to eye. It is also reported that Zahara failed to pitch for some shoots several times. Now, the snitch is quoted as saying the following in the article, they had to call a meeting with the SABC on Wednesday after she missed a shoot and asked the producers to come to her at a different location. She said she was visiting some guy in Gatlehong and the film crew should follow her there if they wanted to film that day. Now going off that particular statement from that source, I don't see anything wrong. I mean at the end of the day it's a reality show, they're supposed to be following Zahara so what's wrong with Zah you know, not following Zahara? I'd say that maybe the only problem that they have is that she gave them wrong details and just changed up her schedule at the drop of a dime, maybe that's the only complaint that they have. But moving right along, apparently the SABC has threatened to ax the show if Zahara continued to be a problem child or problem child behavior. The snitch goes on to say she did behave herself for the time being, she's been filming properly and is expected to wrap up everything this week. The show depends on her cleaning her act up and it is said that she doesn't seem to understand her own brand and acts out of character. It isn't good for her image. Look, not so long ago, we talked about that uh, TikTok video of Zahara, definitely not in her image, you know, <laughs> the writing. Oh, Lord, let's not go back there. Look, at the end of the day, when we are being honest, Zahara's most popular hit or song is Loliwe. And when you listen to Loliwe, it is very hard to picture the person singing that beautiful song, doing the things or allegedly doing the things that she has been reportedly been doing. You know, the drinking problems, she's performing drunk, the TikTok video. <laughs> But moving right along, I will say this, Zahara did seem very excited about her reality show. She actually spoke to the papers and said that we are in the final planning stages of the reality show and we will start shooting next week. This was uh, actually a couple months ago. Now, she also revealed that she's finally ready to share her story, her way and let people into her life. She went on to say, people think they know me, but they don't really know me. I want to show people my spiritual side, my family, my close friends and who I'm dating. I know people love Zahara and I want even the mama in the village who I have healed through my music to see how I live and how I think. It will be unscripted and show who I truly am. I am all about inspiring people and healing. Well, looks like she wasn't lying about the unscripted part because, you know, the crew are actually finding it difficult to, you know, get where she is at. But yeah, I mean, do get in the comment section down below and let me know, are you excited about Zahara's reality show? And hopefully the SABC does not pull the plug. Our next topic, Kuli China gushes over wife, Lemise Holworthy. So rapper Kuli China says his wife, TV presenter and DJ Lemise Holworthy played a great role in his comeback because she wants him to shine. Now the rapper sat down for an interview with Maps Maponyani on his new show, Mzansi Icons, that airs on Mzansi Magic. Now Maps asked Kuli about his Buyile track, which I will say I definitely do love it. But yeah, Kuli used the opportunity to heap appreciation on 
on his wife. He went on to say, my wife had a great impact in this comeback. First, just the reinvention. I'm blessed with a loving woman, somebody who gets a kick out of making her man shine. And that's how I grew my confidence back. Now he says that Lemise contributed in a big way to his rebirth. He went on to say, oh man, it's like being reborn and also having somebody that reminds you or that reintroduces you to yourself. Now, Maps also asked Cooley what he defined success. Now, Cooley went on to say, a legacy, generational wealth, breaking the cycle and that curse and being remembered for shaping this culture of music and lifting others. A legacy, generational wealth, breaking cycles and the curses. I agree with Kuli China 100% over there. And I will say, you know what, gents? It is very important to find yourself a partner who compliments you, helps you, keeps reminding you that you are awesome and helps you in that building process. Obviously, you both build up and build together. But yeah, in the words of Kuli China, get yourself somebody who gets a kick out of making her man shine. Now, of course, fellas, this is not a reason to now neglect your woman and expect her to be lifting you and making you and propping you up all by yourself. Do keep in mind that this is a two-way street, you know. And in saying that, I do recall that Lamise has also had some very fond memories of things that Kuli China has done for her. In July of last year, Lamise actually took her followers on a trip down memory lane when she recounted how she didn't know that there was an unwritten rule about first dates until she met her guy. So she posted the following picture. As you can see there, it's a book, a Mickey Mouse teddy bear. Is it still a teddy bear because it's Mickey Mouse? A Mickey Mouse stuffed toy. But yeah, she captioned this picture, honestly didn't know that gifts on first dates were a thing till I met my guy. On our first, he got me a bunch of yellow tulips, which are my fave, and I had obviously mentioned in a random convo before. Along with a Mickey Mouse teddy bear, obsessed, and a book I mentioned I couldn't find. So yeah, like I said, fellas, two-way street, build each other. And that is the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.